On this episode, we talked to producer. No, not on this episode. We talked to Kathleen Mesa. On this episode, we talked to music producer Kathleen Mason about sitting next to Beyonce at the Grammys <laughs> and the local. <laughs> The local music scene in Syracuse and the Texas came back. In this episode, we're talking to Kathleen Mason about Baya Baya Baya. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> the music business in Syracuse, and she went to the Grammys, to the Grammys and took a picture of the back of Taylor Swift's head. Hey everybody, it's Ben Riley, and welcome back to A Week in the Life. We're on episode 7. Well, no, seven. just kidding. 12. Just we're on episode we 12. 12 I should have 5 plus 5 plus 2. You should have brought like a dozen eggs. <laughs> yeah, right? For, uh, awesome. A gift. That would have been a great guest it gift. It would have been. Uh, Kathleen is lucky eggs. 12. Yes. She's, she is lucky, <laughs> lucky number 12. I'm here as always with... Jason Emerson. And our very special guest tonight is... Kathleen Mason from uh, K-Mace Productions. And what does K-Mace Productions do? We uh, promote music um, mainly, but we also manage talent, and uh, we're kind of getting out there into some YouTube series and, and series <laughs> and things like that. Um, so it should be fun, and, and actually, whatever else, if, if there, I, I don't know, I can toy with anything. If there's if there's film out there, maybe I'll do a film thing. Who knows? So for small businesses or individuals or all of the above? Um, basically for musicians. So okay. if, you're, if you're a musician, um, I can help, we can help promote uh, your music. We can help, um, I, I actually do national and regional and local concerts too. So um, that should be fun. I do a lot of work with, um, with Funk and Waffles. I do a lot of work with um, the Palace and, and things like that. So, so um, that's really it. I mean, we can expand on whatever <laughs> well the one thing i'm i'm interested in i don't want to jump too too quickly into this I but see. i see you went to the grammys i did and that's just so cool i'm not gonna lie it was fun <laughs> yeah so tell no, us how try, that came about to, so it, what's it like sitting next to taylor swift <laughs> yes. t swift the, it, and i were like, there you're like B, no, BFFs BFFs BFFs. Now. you have her on your cell phone to me <laughs> no um we snap each other we do we're besties <laughs> oh no actually i was way in the nosebleed like it was it was so I was so far back that I didn't really take any pictures of the I'm giving that the secret away. I didn't even take pictures of the actual Not even of the back of their heads. Yeah, because I was <laughs> so I was so far away. Out. It was like this with a phone, like trying <laughs> to see how Are you far allowed I to take pictures during the show? Yeah, you can. Oh, you are, and really? actually you can you can video I have a video of wow. Adele singing. The Staples Center really? is amazing wow. because the sound is unbelievable. Like I literally it's top notch. I felt like like when I was listening to whomever was was on singing, they like they were right next to me. It was wow. incredible. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so it was it was a pretty cool experience. And then we did the the after parties, um, which did you is get swag bags. I I did. We well the swag this year <laughs> was um, this little piece of chocolate that had like gold in it or something, which I ate immediately. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and it was good, but that the, but that was really it. There was yeah. there was nothing else. It was kind of. Um, it wasn't chintzy or anything, but it was just kind of, you know, that's what you got. Piece of chocolate. So you didn't get a $30,000 Rolex? No, I didn't get like Harry Winston jewels. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. That's right. just, for the, just for the big, the, the A-list uh, singers. Yeah. Who but can't, the they can't afford it, you know, so they need the yeah, gifts. Of course. Yeah, of course. But you got to walk the red carpet. Yeah. We did. What was that like? It was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. They moved us along because there were some security issues, but... Um, but it was a blast. I saw a lot of people like from Extra and on some of those uh, oh, yeah. other, yeah, Indeed. some of those other um, cool shows. They were all talking, talking to folks. So that was fun. Um, and I said, "Who are you wearing?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Well, you know, I don't know." Some, I'm wearing Spy Baby. Syracuse, exactly like right? Boom Babies. <laughs> Boom is oh, something like that. Boom Babies. I totally something. missed that one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you meant. <laughs> That's perfect. Where's Spy Baby? Isn't Spy Baby up on uh, the hill? It's up on the hill, yes. Okay, okay so see you. Oh, all right. Close. Yeah, it's close. Super close. close. All right. Um, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And then there were after parties, and uh, and they had, like, it was, you know, crazy. There was so much food, and, and uh, there were two different rooms. 
don't mean to go on and on about this, but it was kind of cool. It's interesting. Yeah. There were two different rooms, and one was, um, they have themes, I guess. One was sort of like a carnival, and there were people on, like, stilts walking and flying around like uh, like Cirque du Soleil. And then, then there was another room that was this jazz room, which was very cool. Wow. And, uh, and they had all kinds of food. They had funky, which you should do. They had really cool <laughs> cotton candy, this cotton candy, and it was, like, flavored. Really? Yeah, it was, like, uh, it was, there was, like, champagne flavored and all kinds like of stuff. Vodka. Like, from Friday Like, vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka yes. cotton candy. Nice. Unbelievable. Let's make this happen. Let's do it. Uh, that that could go right mouth. with uh, the chocolates that... Uh, that Michael Speech does? Michael Speech does. See? Did you know Ooh. that? Yes. Very cool. All right. It was, it, and it let's was email this clip to Michael. Yeah. Let's see what he says. Great. So, very cool. Let's do it. Yeah. So, what do you have working uh, locally now? Do you have any... Uh, gigs coming up or bands that you promote that are I do around? I manage a band called Simple Life and uh, we do a show in conjunction with um, Blue Box Videos and uh, this gentleman is awesome his name is Scott and he he owns Blue Box, Blue Box Videos and he's a good friend of Simple Life and, and K-Mace so he does uh, every month we do this weekly or monthly episode of um, that's edited right <laughs> every month <laughs> we, we don't do edit a weekly anything. episode we don't um, edit anything great so anyway we don't know so, what you meant <laughs> so anyway um, we we get together with a local band uh, Simple Life does and then they they play one of their songs and they just do sort of this very cool mishmash of songs and um, and, and and it's a like a viral episode stuff it's very cool um so it comes out uh once a month on k-base on youtube on boombox simple life Puts we'll it link out. it up on all of our yeah, show stuff awesome. so i'm gonna ask a very very uh simplistic question sure so you say you manage a band mm -hmm. or you manage the videos or you manage like what does that mean what what credentials do you have to have if any and where do you where do you get experience to do something like that, because I, I was looking at your bio and stuff, and we've you know we've kind of jammed on Twitter a little bit. Sure. Had, but yeah, I just absolutely. I'm like, what does that mean? Um, it's it's music is so DIY now. Before it used to used to be like the landscape of music has changed drastically, and it used to be sort of like you know you had to, to shop your stuff to these big A and R folks and these people that are that are you know at Warner Brothers or whatever. And it, there's still a little bit of that, but but now it's it's. Um, it's interesting because you can really create your own thing. So because of that, a lot of musicians get sort of bogged down with social media and things like that mm -hmm. that they can't do themselves because they're really supposed to just be creating music. Right. And, and some people have day jobs, and it's just really difficult to keep up with the social media um, of their and, and their websites so, and right. branding and rebranding and those kinds of things. You know, you know here too, um, it's a business like anything else. So really, I guess credential wise, I mean, I, I, I have a degree in music, but that means nothing. <laughs> like it didn't teach me anything. It's just sort of social media, knowing social media yeah. and Twitter and um, Instagram and being on those things and keeping Which you're up excellent with that. at. Oh, we, we, we take you. a look at those things. Yep. Thanks a lot. Yep. Um, and then having a good team. Like I have a great graphics guy who does a lot of my graphics and, and, um, and then having, like I was talking about Bea, who's Bea, Bea, Bea .com. She's a singer. Um, and, but she's like, is that really what the website is? It is. Bea, Bea, B E A, B E A, B E A. She should be on here. I just want to say that. Anyway. That Bea, Bea, Bea .com. It is. She's, she's brilliant Bea, Bea, to Bea, think Bea, of it because you just want to say it so you can't forget it. But anyway, so she's. Paige just loves doing this. <laughs> so, she would like her. So she's. Like I said, my right hand hand lady at um, K Mason, we do a lot uh, a lot of things. She's she's creative, so she does um, like a packaging and things like that. But you you need to know you know lingo and what people want to see and what people want to hear. You have to know how to make press kits, and I mean it just goes on and on. There's a lot of a lot to wow. it, and um, I'm always reading. Still, you know, I'm going through through a book now. It's just everything changes so fast. It's mm -hmm. like anything, any business. And any gadget or any anything we can get our hands on to to make it interesting and fun and get people to watch us and to, to like and share um, for bands and mm -hmm. for, and for book anyone. shows. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's a lot of wow. barter stuff that goes on too in the music world. Like you know, if you can, um, you know, if, you know, with venues and all kinds of stuff. It's it's great. It's a wonderful community. Cool. So, it's probably a lot yeah, of networking I love it. too. As any small business, right? It's yeah. all about who you know. Tons of networking. Yeah. Tons of networking and and um and I mean I think that's what we were talking about earlier about the three the three years three year mark. Like I I just started to see things start go uphill. You just took um, my next question out of my mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, how do you know? How do you, right. as a small business owner, mm-hmm. somebody who came from from a different world, how do you know when it's time to go all in? Well, um, when there's too much work and there's not in, not enough mm-hmm. time, so you kind of have to have to. You think either I quit, I either I quit now or I I get some help and I just keep going and and see. You know what to do, and I kind of give myself like little goals. It's like, okay, I'm gonna do three years. Okay, I'm gonna do five years and see where I'm at. Five, and um, it's just sort of been growing. So I've never seen, I've never seen a step back in what I'm doing. So I feel like I, I'm just gonna keep going. I love it, and I've always loved music. Um, so I, why stop? And I have a very well, understanding. Well, it's gonna blow up now that you're on our show. It's gonna <laughs> oh, go exactly. exponential. Sky. Robert, <laughs> hyperbole. <laughs> Catapult for careers right here. Awesome. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So do you have a hard time putting the phone down at night like I do? I do, totally. It's, it it's, is so it's hard. unbelievable. And with, yeah. with the rate that um, older rock uh, gods have been, have been passing away, unfortunately, I know, like I can't, like, I have to like keep my hand on the pulse. It's like a virus just it's for uh, rock's legends. It is. It's really sad. <laughs> like a lot of the era are just, they're, just, they're going. So what is your favorite not not the bands you manage because that's a given so what kind of music do you like to listen to oh my gosh everything everything um i i'm I'm kind of partial to singer songwriters because i feel like they're they have such a creativity Mm -hmm. i'm I'm sort of a lyricist and i really like to hear you know creative lyrics um but i like everything i mean i can jam out to speed metal i i I listen (laughs) to everything everything really you play anything i used to play wait for it the French horn and the piano. Oh, look nice. out! Look out! Who else used to play the French horn? You, mom used to play awesome. the French horn. Awesome! It's a difficult instrument. It yeah. really is. Yeah, but you could use that in ska music. I totally can. Like I can, you, you know, stand know. on the street corner with a pencil can. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you <laughs> say? Kidding. Ska. What does ska. that mean? It's a style of it's music. A style. Like an, uh, is no doubt like, technically. Yeah, Glenn, yeah, a, got Glenn the, Stefani. Yeah, they've got um, the horn section. Is that is that an acronym for something? Or, or is that so. actually the term it's for it? It's a term it. for it. Really? It's a term for it. It's it's very cool music. It's yeah. it's got you have to listen to it. I can't. Yeah. See, I don't know it's anything about music. Yeah. It's undescribable. You, know, what you are, probably what know more than you think you do. Yeah, you probably do. When I was when I was in high school, mm-hmm. the band that I liked that was kind of ska was called White Trash. <laughs> one one <laughs> album wonder. And yeah, they had this whole horn section and very cool. It was awesome. I loved it. I think it's I was the cool. only person I ever met who actually liked their music. But White Trash. It was good. White Trash. Scott is, is, is very popular, too, with college um, All right. folks. So. Do you have a question in the back of the room? Can we do questions? Sure. Question, um, nice. Absolutely. So what I was going to say was, what do you think made Adele screech when she was, when she was singing? Mm. At, which, at the Grammys? Yeah, she had question. an issue, actually. It was it, um, her, her microphone fell on the piano, um, the piano chords. And so, because of that, um, oh, wow. the piano was out of tune. It almost sounded like a harpsichord. That's an old school piano. Um, and and uh, and I think that it just she was just off a little bit off. Honestly, when I was there, I didn't I didn't really hear it. I mean, it was her 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 performance was off. Um, I I kind of feel like she picked the wrong song. Sorry, because um, <laughs> I know she's watching. Me. Sorry, Adele. Sorry, right. Adele. <laughs> Um, you know. Uh, anyway, no, I, I feel like, I just feel like it was, uh, you know, that it, that once you have sort of a malfunction like that, it's kind of hard to, but she kept going, so yeah. good for her, good for her. She, she's she's one of those singers, singers that, I didn't watch it, but she's one of those singers that I feel like, I can't imagine her not hitting the right note. You know, she's so yeah. amazing. She is. And she she's really like 25 is. years old, like, Oh my God, it's unbelievable. My wife's going to see her at Madison Square Garden in nice. September. Nice. She booked the tickets like a year ago. I'm sure. Like, I would love to see her. She booked them in like December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, she's got to be a great concert. So what's the um, so what's the next level of the business plan? What uh, what happens now? I I kind of that you're finding like... traction. You're growing. I, I think it's just helping musicians, just getting more and more folks to help and to promo under under my wing. And then get, I want to do, it's hard because you've got like specific things coming. Like uh, I did, uh, I worked with Bob Kane and Robin Stockdale, their husband and wife, and they have a, yep. a, com- a company called Vinyl Albums Live, which is so cool. Um, and I just helped them promo 
Vinyl Lovers Live 6. They do it every year, and they have a bunch of um, musicians come together um, to do, local musicians, to do albums in their entirety. So they do three different albums. And it's an incredible show. We packed the pals. It was great. Um, but when I'm doing those shows, you know, those need attention. So it's kind of hard. To, it's it, That's the tricky part is, is when something comes up that's a huge show. You have to... That in and of itself is a job, but then you have to keep up with all the other side things or all the other things that are, I shouldn't say side, mean just as much to right. you. So like the web series, so the managing, so you know promoting sh different shows that are coming up, so you make sure that you, you know, do things. So I kind of want another uh, another national show under my belt. So I'm gonna, I'm I'm not going to say who I'm looking to go after. But there's some specific artists that I want would like to bring here. Right. Um, so was the last national show you said Gin Blossoms? No, was actually that? it was Rick Emmett. This, he's he's part of uh, I don't know if anybody knows from a long time ago. It's a Canadian like '80s metal band or yeah heavy metal band. It was Triumph. They were called Triumph. They were kind of in tandem with Rush. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, the the. I love Rush. Yeah. The the lead singer Rick Emmett is not was now is now on his own. And he's an amazing guitarist. He's actually a professor now um, at uh, Humber College in Canada. It's in Toronto. And he's, so he's someone that was this huge, I was a huge fan of his. And he was actually my first concert that I brought um, to town. And it, the, it was, uh, the proceeds went, some of the proceeds went to ARC of Onondaga. And so uh, he's someone I'd like to, I want to bring him back and, and do some other things. But it's, it's tricky. You have to watch where they're routing. You have to right. try and buy for them um, and beat out other people's prices. And it's just, it's tricky. It's a, it's a little dance with the agents. So. And actually, speaking of, uh, if we still have time, talking Couple about minutes. on your website, I saw that you like to work with nonprofits and you work with the Ark of Anandaga and, and do some yeah. fundraising. Tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. that. And I'm on the board at Ark. I, my brother, who, who had passed away two years ago, um, had Down syndrome. And so Ark of Onondaga um, was one of my huge, like, um, you know, it was my passion and uh, to, to try and do something, you know, with them because they helped my family so much. And, um, and my brother and so I met Lauren um, Cochin and she's amazing uh, developmental director at Archivon and Daga and uh, she asked me to, to be on the board and so I said yes um, so whenever I can I try to to link that charity to like a portion of the proceeds to one of the things that I do but it's it's difficult um, because some people you know that that want me to do shows already have a charity in mind so mm -hmm. I do help a lot of um, different charities but um, but ARC is sort of near and dear to me mm -hmm. so we try to do we try to do things with them as much as we can Laura of Laura with Lauren fame. that's right I love her <laughs> she's, she's coming back down so I can't wait she's great she's like such a little natural on this you'll have to come back and shoot a couple oh, shows with to. us I would love to she's she's so funny what was the cocktail Bad decisions. The picture that was, of bad decisions. My <laughs> the picture of bad decisions. That's yeah. what it was. It yeah. was like drinking a salad. Yes. Um, That's exactly that right. Great. Exactly right. It. So you have how many brothers? Uh, I have, well, I have 10 siblings other than myself. So 10 siblings. And huge. Siblings. And, uh, wow. so, so the breakdown is six girls and five boys. So you should be exceptionally well versed in Nerf. Yes. Hoop. Oh my God! Yes. Uh -huh. I like don't. I don't know what's going to happen because it's been a while. But we used to have teams. It was serious. So we're expect oh, we're expecting like yes. record exactly. shooting here. We'll, <laughs> no pressure. We'll give you some. We'll give you time to warm up. All right. Know, maybe okay. a little more wine. Cool. Cool. Uh, this is where the kids <laughs> take over with their scoring. Nice. So with your permission, we'll go out and do that now. Absolutely. I'm excited. All right. Well, thank you very much for thank being here. Thank you so here. much for having awesome. me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Let's go shoot hoops. Oh, it's great. Awesome. Yay. Oh, okay.